Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm going to talk about a beautiful designer from a house which is just famous for making amazing fragrances at very little money. You know, it doesn't cost a lot of money. Great value for money. Bulgari Man in Black. There are many flankers of this one. Um, this has no similarities to Man, yeah, which this is supposed to be a flanker too. Recently, I reviewed another one, uh, Wood Neroli. That is fantastic, Man Wood Neroli. It's a beautiful, long-lasting, freshy, one of the best fragrances released this year. This one came out in 2014, Parfumer Alberto Morias. Now, this one is one of the most elegant, beautiful, comfortable, masculine fragrances I have in my collection. I have a huge soft spot for this fragrance. Every time I spray this, I want to, you know, keep wearing it. It's one of those fragrances which is highly addicting. It's absolutely beautiful. So, it's a tobacco-based fragrance. And there is a little bit of a, a sort of misunderstanding when it comes to tobacco-based fragrances. Some people assume it's going to be smelling like a cigarette. See, fine tobacco, the smell of fine tobacco, is a very rich, warm, deep, and subtle kind of a scent. Yeah? Cigarette smells completely different to tobacco. So that's one thing I wanted, I wanted to point out. So one guy requested today to me to name one of my favorite tobacco scents that doesn't, isn't smoky. I hope he meant it doesn't uh, smell like a smoky tobacco rather than cigarette smoke. See the cigarette smoke, there are very few fragrances that smell like cigarette smoke or at least cigarettes. This is very spicy. There's a lot of pepper and nutmeg along with a very fine, like I said, a very fine, deep, masculine smell of tobacco. That is accompanied with pencil shaving like smell, cedar, and a lot of creaminess and a lot of boozy bitterness. There is absolutely no sweetness at the moment. And I love that because I'm fed up of sweet smelling designer fragrances. Yeah, This is how it starts off. Very little sweetness. There's no vanilla in it. Thank God for that. There's a little sour, tangy vanilla-like smell, which is benzoin. Yeah, The fragrance is beautiful. It's creamy. It's rich. It's lush. It's very full-bodied. It, all, it is almost like smelling a niche fragrance. Absolutely stunning. Very, very well made, very expensive smelling designer fragrance. Beautifully made by Alberto Morias. Now, when the fragrance starts to dry down, there are two notes that make an appearance. Number one is a note of leather. The leather is very subtle, but the feel of the leather, along with that benzoin, is gonna make that fragrance feel as if you're wearing a leathery fragrance. The tobacco stays, the spices come down. The spices may um, sort of surprise you in the opening because pepper is quite strong, yeah? But I know why they've used pepper and nutmeg, just to make the fragrance feel a bit fresher. Otherwise it would have gone in the region of a gourmand, yeah? It's surprisingly bright. It continues to become bright because there's this beautiful note of gaik wood. Think royal oud. Beautiful, creamy, um, bright and vibrant gaik wood. That gaik wood keeps pulling the fragrance out of deep and mysterious territory into a very amicable and friendly tobacco scent. Full of life, youth and just elegant. In the very late dry down, the fragrance has this amazing creamy milky tuberose that makes the fragrance even more narcotic and sexy. Yeah, Tuberose is normally used in women's fragrances because of its narcotic, deep, uh, sensual side. Here, there's a touch of tuberose which makes the fragrance milky and narcotic along with that beautiful leather note, a little bit of rum. The, the rum is almost absent in its dry down and that fine tobacco, beautiful masculine, lovely, lovely scent. Hope this makes sense. Now, upsides and downsides. Well, the no number one upside for me is it's not a sweet fragrance. There are a lot of sweet fragrances. I forgot to mention there's a note of tonka which is also augmenting that creaminess. Now when it comes to tobacco and tonka, fragrances are sweet. This one isn't. It's beautifully made. It's not sweet. That's number one upside. Number two, 
It's such a comfortable and wearable fragrance, you know. It's masculine, comfortable, wearable, expensive smelling. What, what else do you need? Uh, number three, very classy. The fragrance has been composed in a way which exudes sophisticated classiness. It doesn't scream out. It's not one of those fragrances that will go and grab your attention. It pulls people towards it. And the last one is that lemony, vanilla-like smell in leather. Create this amazing feel of comfort, of uh, warmth, of um, natural attractiveness. It's naturally attractive. As I said, whenever I smell this, whenever I spray this, I want to wear it again and again. I never get bored of it. And I've had this in my collection for at least three or four years. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Downside, performance. The longevity on the fragrance is amazing. Yeah, you get about six to seven hours. Some days I get less. Some days I get more. Sometimes I've got I've got nine hours. But the projection of the fragrance is a problem. The fragrance doesn't go and scream out. Yeah, it's rather low, medium to low, I would say. So it, it projects for about an hour, especially if you spray it on your clothes. But after that, it's a skin scent. The sillage also is medium yeah you'll get I, I go heavy four or five sprays under my shirt i get very good sillage for about four or five hours yeah longevity as i said can be patchy but you will get minimum five hours if not more so that's the number one downside the other downside i can think of is that fragrance fragrances like this can be overworn yeah there are certain occasions you can wear this fragrance to to amplify the effect of the fragrance. If you wear this to work, you can. It won't last your full work day. But yeah, I can easily wear this to work, but I wouldn't wear this to a clubbing situation because it smells so alluring and sexy. The natural propensity would be to wear this clubbing. But this is not a clubbing scent. It's a very intimate, sexy, uh, welcoming, attractive, comforting scent. Very sophisticated. So. I wouldn't waste this on clubbing. There are many other clubbing scents. You need something which grabs attention when you're going clubbing. So those are two downsides. So weather, I think cool weather or evening time. This is an evening time scent um, predominantly. But when it's dark and gloomy and it's very cold, you can wear this during daytime as well. And it doesn't project a lot and it's very classy. So you can wear this to work. Although I doubt it if it will last the whole work day. Yeah? Age groups, I would say 20 plus to 60 plus, very versatile. Yeah, As long as you are behaving like the fragrance wants you to behave, it's a very classy fragrance, right? So it suits that kind of personality. I think the perfect age group would be a person who's going for his date, taking his girlfriend to a nice evening out, wearing a nice shirt, having a great conversation. It's a very cozy cuddle up scent. So, that's the ideal kind of an age group. Whatever time in your life you're in, if you're in that kind of a phase in your life, this would be a beautiful scent for that situation. Yeah, Tremendous date nights fragrance. So, whether I've covered weather, value for money, according to me, the value for money is medium. Yeah, You would get 100 ml for anywhere between 55 and 65. Yeah, If you look hard enough. So, and since the projection isn't that much people might get a slightly you know cold feet about it if you're looking for a heavy projector and a long lasting tobacco scent try this one aramis tobacco reserve i've reviewed this one as well but this one isn't a heavy projector so some people might uh, find that hard to swallow yeah it becomes a skin scent very quickly but bearing that in mind i think the value for money is going to be medium for me but i personally love this scent so much that I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, yeah? Because it's it actually does a lot. For a Bulgari, for a designer, it does a lot. It's, a, it's one of those fragrances you have to pick the right time to use it. And if you do use it in that moment, you will realize that the scent is a, a real winner of a scent, yeah? That's why I'm giving it a nine out of 10. Normally, I would, I would have given it a seven, but this has a special purpose. Use it to that purpose in that scenario you will see the results. Yeah. Nine out of 10. Hope you like the review fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.